Hi, it's Monday, September 6th, and I'm Mark Friedman, just an American citizen. What a great country. No notes, no sense. Please subscribe. We're just getting, it's just going to start getting crazier and crazier as we go along. Do you know the title of this, uh, this video is, Hey Texas, the um, socialist capital of the United States, Texas. It's not pro-life, it's pro-birth. That's what you're doing. It's no more than that as you encourage your citizens to turn in their neighbor. And you'll pay them for it, too. Oh, so American. Okay, let's get to the music first. Our digital stream over here. Some really good music today. Blonde. I always think I give you good music. Blondie. Um, which album was this one? Their greatest album, really. Parallel Lines. Listen to this album all the way through. I can see it. I should just look at the lines are parallel. Debbie Harry, incredible music. These, this group was it straddled the line between new wave and disco. Disco took some of their music and ran with it, and, and you could dance to. It was really great music. Original rock you could dance to. Rock and roll. I mean, that's what it was for, right? So just really excellent music on here. Listen to this album on your digital stream. We're talking album now, not greatest hits. Next door to it. I've been getting complaints from one of our regular viewers saying, oh, Beatles are okay and all this, and why are you just giving me Ozzy? You know, where's the, where's the group? Okay, here it is, Black Sabbath. Of course, Black Sabbath is great. And this guy I saw Black Sabbath with, I think he was crying when they came out on the, on the stage. He was so happy to see him. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Not their best album, but a really good one. What is it? Uh, Sabra Cadabra in here, the title song, and Ozzy, the group just cooks. Mm, Black Sabbath is so good. And quit complaining now. Okay, over here, Magical Mystery Tour, the Beatles. This came out after... Uh, uh, Sergeant Peppers is during the psychedelic year, but what was so great, another great part about it was it had its own little pamphlet. If you kept it your pamphlet and look at the music, I mean, look at the colors and everything. It was so psychedelic. Look at this. What a great shot, the Beatles. Okay. Digital stream. Listen to it. Cuckoo, could you? Okay. Now, let's get back to the to the problem we have, which is Texas, the socialist capital of the United States, Texas. Okay, not only do they turn their own people against others and pay them to do it. Turn your citizens against the citizens and pay them to do it. East Germany, total socialism. But now we're at a point where they do not want people to have abortions, and all you're hearing is, we're pro-life, and that's why we're doing this, and we're going to take this all around the country. You're not pro-life. You're pro-birth. Let's get this thing straight. All these people want is to just make these women bring these children to term, period. They go, oh, they're alive, they're this. Really? Life isn't birth, just birth. Life is life. Hopefully a lot of good years. Well, let me ask you something, all you people. Who's going to take care, help take care of these children? Who's going to make sure that these women's medicals can be paid for? Who's going to make sure that these kids as they're growing, are going to be, be taken care of, get food, get education. Who's going to make sure they have physical issues they're going to be taken care of? Who's going to make sure they have mental issues they're going to be taken care of? Who's going to help to try to make sure that the mother and, and can bring this child into society and let the mother make some money and be able to work so she can do her thing? Who's going to take care of this? You don't hear any of this from the pro-birthers. Because that's all they are, pro-birth. They don't want to deal with this. They just want to wash their hands. Hey, who cares about people who live? Who cares about people who are here? Not the pro-birthers, okay? Because then they talk about adoption. The only one I know who really believes in that was Justice Coney. I mean, Barrett, I'm sorry, Justice Coney Barrett. And I believe that's why I was against her being a Supreme Court justice, because there's no question she adopts. She's a real believer in all this. So there's no way Roe versus Wade was going to stay intact with her on the bench. No way. And that was my position. But I respect her. For, you know who she is. But all these other people are hypocrites, because none of them are going to adopt them. Let me ask you something. During COVID-19, they go adopt, adopt, adopt. They adopted the dogs and cats, and that's cool. They're great animals. But how many of them adopted kids? 
How many of them tried to take care of the kids who are here now who need parents? How about all those kids who need parents now? Where are these people, these pro-birthers? Where are they? They're hypocrites. They don't care about anybody who's here. They don't care about anybody who's going to be here. They only care about that little bit of time when they got to prove that they are moral and they are just and they are good until suddenly this life appears and they do nothing about it to try to make it good for that life or the what or the mother because they're hypocrites. It's pro-birth. Quit calling them pro-life. They're not. They're pro-birth. Let's get it straight. In the Socialist Republic of the United States, Texas. Peace.